On the contrary, I've got you. Gentle peoples, for my next illusion, I will require the assistance of a small boy from the audience. I shall be happy to assist you, sir. I shall now attempt to run razor-sharp swords through the basket. There's nothing for to fear. It's a trick. The swords do not penetrate. No.
You've got to hand to this bad band, cause I'm a terrible guy. As you were, attention, right up. Oh, if you are just two, two. Attention, everybody! Alarm! Abu Hassan, the bandit, loots Khan and escapes. Last scene headed that away. Oh, oh which away? That away! Ah. Oh. 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 Hey, this ain't nothing for women. We're out hunting bandits. Sealant Zero, Visica Pelagi, Lero. <laughs> Maybe we better try it across the street, huh? Skip the gutter. Maybe I should trade this in. Something is definitely wrong. I'm right, it's wrong. <laughs> Boardwalk on this beach, huh? If I had some bread, I'd make a sandwich if I had a witch. Huh? Food! Oh. A bit of disappointment. Oh, Wimpy. Uh, would you care to join us, young fellow, huh? You know, that's just one of those invisible garages that you can't see on the desert. That's all it is. Rest. Oh. Uh, come on, we got the green light with us now. You know, I can go for a nice cold chocolate soda right now. <laughs> Popeye, oh. olive oil has collapsed completely. Whoa. Uh, keep your vitality up, Olive. Huh? That's it. <laughs> oh. Come on, Olive. We gotta save little women and children from bandits. I'll get you out of this desert some way. I tank, we go now. Water. Oh, boy. Come on, I'll revise you. Oh, oh, oh. Here we are. <laughs> Here, I'll squelch your thirst for you. <laughs> this is on the house. <laughs> oh, it's that good. Oh. oh. I'll ask in here for bandits. But Foyce will go get a cup of coffee over here. Oh, uh, come on in. Goody, you're my star. Uh, I y'all, huh? Boy, this place is wide open. Oh. Well, I wonder where everybody is yes, around here. Maybe it's close to the window. Cybers. Yeah, that's what we want. Service. Cybers. Oh, there you are, huh? What is this, double talk or something? I didn't send out any laundry. I can read reading, but I can't read write. This writing's rotten rotten, if you happen to ask me, huh? Hey, this Chinese is Greek to me. Haven't you got something to eat? Oh, that's better, huh? Bring me some desert without any sand this time, will you please? No! Not the house! Not the house! Oh, boy, I'm hungry. Let's go into this place. Attention, everybody! Oh. Attention, everybody! Calling all towns and villages! Beware! You better lock up your doors today! Cause Abu Hassan is on his way! Go in hiding when he comes riding! There's him and his sporty thieves! Your wife and children and money too. He'd steal them from you before he's through. He's out gunning, so start him running from him and his squatty thieves. Abu Hassan. 
have has him. In every village, kill steel and pillage, there's none he'll spare. That we defy you to cross his path if you dare. When things get quiet, I start a riot as I go by. And you'll discover. They run to cover, cause I'm the terrible guy. Another illusion? I can't understand it. Come on, There's a big bag of wind blowing through here someplace. Hey, Shark! 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 Hey, give me back me, Shark. What's the big idea? Stop in the name of the Coast Guard. Come on, give me these balls, huh? Who are you, huh? Home for a dollar ninety eight, but half the price. I'll tell you that. Uh, Two cents Wow. Hey, your pen knife's dead. I'll straighten it out for you. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I show you. Hey, you hurt somebody with that thing, huh? Oh. You got revitism. Yeah, I'll fix it for you. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, uh. Uh. Look, 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 see. Yeah, I'm looking up. Oh. Hey. Give me back uh, here. Well, uh, pretty good for uh, a faker, uh, huh? Watch this one. Ever, never, never. Apple hasn't got him anymore. Oh, 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 you oh, want to oh, make fool from me, oh, huh? Nature beat me to it. I show you. Oh. <laughs> I hang him up shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you make fool from me, huh? Huh? Oh, 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 oh,
In the endless reaches of the universe, there once existed a planet known as Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the distant heavens. There, civilization was far advanced and had brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. But there came a day when giant quakes threatened to destroy Krypton forever. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth just as Krypton exploded. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space, landing safely on Earth with its precious burden, Krypton's sole survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. As the years went by and the child grew to maturity, he found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. The infant of Krypton is now the man of steel, Superman. To best be in a position to use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for true justice, Superman has assumed the skies of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. Kent, I want to see you. Just received another threatening note. Okay, Mr. White. Lois, another note from the Mad Scientist. Coming in, Chief. Now listen to this warning. He plans to strike tonight. Beware, you fools. My electrothanasia ray strikes tonight at 12. Total destruction will come to those who laughed at me and failed to heed my warning. Beware. I strike at midnight. This nut may prove dangerous. Kent, you help Lois follow up her lead. She may have an angle on this thing. Yes, sir. But, Chief, I'd like the chance to crack the story on my own. Well, no. Thanks, Chief. But, Lois... Chief, don't you think that's a dangerous mission? for the Ha, ha, ha. 
held the city in a grip of terror, went on his rampage of destruction on the stroke of midnight. The deadly impact of his mysterious ray smashed the famous Tower Bridge, hurling cars and pedestrians into the river below. The police have warned everyone to remain in their homes. This looks like a job for Superman.
Groundhog says a terrible blizzard's coming. Ah, go on. That guy don't know his shadow from a hole in the ground. You'll f f freeze to death if you stay here. And you won't have any food either. Don't worry about me. I got plenty of food. And right now, I'm going swimming. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
just a poor Cinderella. Nobody loves me, it seems. And like a poor Cinderella, I find my romance in dreams. For that's where I When I'm with him, cares fade away. I'm just a poor Cinderella, but I'll be a princess someday. Cinderella! <laughs> I hope you enjoy the ball. <laughs> Cinderella, you're unhappy, I can see. I'm your fairy godmother, listen to me. Dry your little eyes, there is no need to cry at all. You're so kind and gentle, you'll go to the ball. Go fetch me a pumpkin, a large one, my dear. Six mice and two lizards, and bring them right here. Remember, when the clock strikes 12, you must be home by then. For should you fail to be in bed, you'll be in rags again. Remember, remember, remember.
Why, you impudent thing. Oh, shut up, you jealous. How dare you for two pins I'd slap your face. Oh, you will, you. Yes, I will. What are you going to do about it?
man in the moon. Nothing but rocks and holes. <gasps> oh, I'm tired. <gasps> He's a giant. He's a monster. Let's capture him for the king. <laughs> They're real cute. Hmm, I wonder what they're gonna do with me. His Celestial Majesty, the ruler of the moon, King Luna. And from whence comest thou? Your Majesty, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost, and I come from the planet Earth. Bah! The planet Earth. A likely story if ever I heard one. But King Luna, I do want to be friendly. The monster's got me! Even the moon people are afraid of me. The tree men are attacking! The tree men are attacking! To the walls! Defend the city!
I see, Miss Dinkelmeyer. That's the way it should be sung. Shall we try it again? I'll try anything for you, Professor. Oh, that's fine, fine. <laughs> if you please, Doctor. 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 Oh! Hey. Too fortissimo, too allegro, too quantro. Oh, is that bad? It ain't good. You're supposed to be singing about the voices of spring, not the eruption of a volcano. Give with the throat, not with the bellows. Oh, oh Professor, you want it more like a bird. That's it. That's it. Give me the bird. for today. You might hurt your voice, you know, bend it, crack it or break it or something. Oh, Professor, you're so considerate. I'm just crazy about you. <laughs> Don't forget, we've got another lesson Tuesday. Goggle with old razor blades. All right, Professor. I know you wouldn't want anything to happen to my throat. Except to have somebody cut it. How would you like to be married to a dame like that? Don't even say that. I order. You order what? I ought to be a little more careful. Well, shut up and listen. Do you remember your Uncle Caleb? Do I? Why, that old tight wad heat steel flies from a blind spider. But, Champ, he's... Uh... He's a louse and a weasel. Yeah, well, he just died and left you 500,000 bucks. Just like that old skin flint. <laughs> 500,000 bucks! <laughs> Poor old Uncle Caleb. Like I was saying, he was a swell guy. Give me the shirt off his back yeah, and throw in the buttons, too. But there's one little catch. You get the dough provided you're married. So... <laughs> Married? No, no, fellas. I'm gonna faint. Oh. Or. Or what? If you get married within 48 hours of the reading of the will. What time was that? Six o'clock the night before last. You just got seven hours to get yourself a bride. It can't be done. No woman is interested in me. Maybe not, pal. But if you look real hard, you might find one that's interested in a half a million bucks. Maybe you got something there. You're darn right he has. Do you know any girls? I got a lot of numbers, but I haven't had much luck with them lately. Well, you can't get killed for trying. Where's the phone? There's a booth down the hall. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, down the hall. Oh, down the hall. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, here, here's six nickels. That makes 17. You ought to hit the jackpot with one of them. Go ahead. <laughs> Give me Susquehanna 2222. Two, two, two. Say, he's been in there over an hour. What are you getting nervous about? When Shem pours on the charm, no dame can resist him. I hope you're right. Hello? Is this Ginger Gray? It is? Well, this is your little snookums. I'm about to do you a big favor. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh. 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 Hey, any luck? I've got one phone number and one nickel left. Well, start using it. Oh, you clumsy ox, you. Where'd that go? It went down here someplace. Well, let's find it. Take this receiver. Oh, I got way. it. I got it. Oh. Oh. All right, just take it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Just yeah. a now, wait. Get this out of my hair here. All right. All right. Easy, easy, easy. easy. Get off your foot. Look at, look at what I got here. What was that? Oh, no, don't. Yeah. And wait a minute. It leads around under my arm, then up here around the neck. Get your, get your hand out of here. Oh, all right. All right. Easy, easy. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, my. All right. Easy. All right. Now, wait a minute. 
Can you dial from there? No, can you? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. If I come around like this one and get up in this one, how's that? Well, it don't feel as good as when I did this. Oh, wait, 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 take it easy. Now, look. We ain't getting no place fast. Let's get at this thing right the right way. You want to get this off? All right, wait a minute. All right. Can't stand it anymore. It started with the book, didn't it? Mo, where's your hat? How you doing? Get your hand out of my face. <laughs> that ain't my hand, that's your hand. All right, you asked for it. Ow! Ow! Wait, wait. Oh! Say, miss. Would you like to get married? What? Get married. Well, I don't know, but you are kind of cute at that. Oh, it's not me, it's him. Ah! You gotta get out of this. All right, there isn't much time left. You know that, don't you? All right. What happened? That's what I want to know. Wait a minute. Did you get a load of that? What a dish. I wonder who she is. We'll soon find out. Oh, boy. Yes. Who's the new dame? A Miss Hopkins. Miss Hopkins? Did you hear that, kid? And good looking, too. Go get her, Shep. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You can't propose to a girl looking like that. We gotta give you the works. Come on. Stand still, will you? We gotta get going. It's three o'clock now. Yeah? And if you don't marry the girl by six o'clock, we're out of the money. I said stand still. Oh, oh, Mo! Mo! I'm blind! You're putting my eye out! Get a towel, Mo! Okay. Get a towel! Oh, 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 oh! Hey, where are the towels? In the bottom drawer. I got it. <laughs> you sure look funny with a Buster Brown collar. Hold that. Oh. You too. Where are you? Here. Say, I forgot to tell you, when the afternoon papers come out, you're going to be famous. How come? I gave the story to the reporters. Yes, sir. Shemp power to inherit a half a million bucks. Let's get going, kid. I'm telling you to hold still now. I'm warning you. Oh, excuse me. What that was? Yeah. Oh, still. Oh, almost had seven years of hard luck. <laughs> oh, how do you like that? I said stand still. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I cut off my head. I cut off my head. Mo, my head is off. Mo, my head is off. <laughs> my head is off. Oh. oh, there I am. And as pretty as a picture. Yeah, but Nate, oh, get gone here. This means uh, half a million dollars. I know what it means. Here you are. Boy, am I tired. Where do I throw this water? Oh. You look good. You look great, kid. You're a cinch. Go to it. Oh, come on, come on. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I, I, I've just been dying to meet you. Uh, mm -hmm. You're I, even cuter than that lady said you were. Oh, boy, success. Yeah, listen to those kisses. <clears throat> Cut it out. Oh, you must be exhausted after your long trip. Sit down. <laughs> Let me look at you, Cousin Basil. Oh. Now, don't you go away. 
Hello? Yes, this is Miss Hopkins. Your cousin Basil? Well, then who is... I was just... How dare you pretend to be my cousin Basil? I'll teach you a thing or two. You won't! Don't you dare strike me! Oh. Taking advantage of a poor, weak, helpless woman! Boy, his kisses are getting louder. You, you, you horrible person, you! What happened, kid? Can I help it if I ain't cousin Basil? Oh, Professor, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Oh. All I wanted to do was propose, but... Propose? Oh, Professor, this is so sudden. You mean you'll really marry him? Oh, of course. He's my little old dreamboat. Your little dreamboat is sailing. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're going to sail away from a half a million bucks? We only got two hours left. Come on, get well, going. Just Come on. Easy. Right in, folks. Say, here's the license. My pal wants to get married in a rush. Oh, splendid. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Uh, who? Mr. Howard? Yes, he's here. Hello? Yes? What? How many of them? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. That was the clerk at the apartment. Those dames you phoned this morning found out about the 500 grand in the papers. Come on, pal, we gotta make this fast. Uh, have you got the ring? Why, certainly. Certainly I got it. Oh. It went in the piano. Get it. You see anything? Yeah, wires. Listen, you. What? You know, I think the piano's out of tune. Come on. I think I see it. Oh, oh. Look out. Get up. Uh, get me out of here. My face. Oh, you want to spoil my looks? Impossible. Never mind your face and get that ring. It's a quarter of six. Uh, oh. oh, I'm awful sorry. So am I. Oh, 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 oh. Quit yeah. playing around in there and get that ring. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh get me out of here. Get, get me out of here. Oh, Tell me. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. He's all tangled up with wires. All right, we'll back him up and we'll break him out. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh. Shut up. Hey, sit him down. I've got a new grip. Oh. Easy, now wait. Get this stuff off. Oh, oh, oh. You oh. get in a messes every time. Here, give me a round. I'm a few minutes left and no ring, no nothing. Wait a minute, fellas. Here's the ring. How do you like that? Get out of here. Okay, partner, we're ready for the kickoff. Uh, join hands, you lovebirds. Wait a minute. Who is this character? She's the bride. Oh, yeah? Not while I got my strength. Tell me, Poodles, didn't you propose to me? Yes, but I'm with oh, you. Didn't you? Oh. Yes, but you turned me down. That was before I read the papers. Now I accept. Okay, oh. Toots, let her rip. Oh, no, no, don't he propose to me, too. Please. Oh, 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 wait. Look at that. We better do something fast. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, 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 This it's bigger. Oh, Will you marry me? Well, never. No. Oh, 
patience, both of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. We're married. We made it. It's six o'clock and you're married. What happened? What happened? <gasps> you're married, kid. Say something. Help! 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 going shopping as soon as I serve his majesty's lunch he's dining at the pool today where's Barney oh he's trying on his gear gear that's right he's going to practice spear fishing in the pool spear fishing well Ma. oh I'll be right back I've got to feed the fish where do you want it Fred uh, just set it down uh, where I can reach it <laughs> And remember, if you sink, don't let my best dishes go down with the ship. <laughs> Barney, it's you. Uh, did my spearfishing up scare you? Out of my wits. And don't scare Fred, or he'll lose his lunch and my dishes. Hiya, Fred. And uh, what are you made up for? I'm gonna practice spearfishing. Oh, you can't lose. You'll either spare them, or they'll die laughing. <laughs> How does it work? And don't point that thing at me. It's loaded. Oops. <laughs> Barney boy, you're making it tough to be friends. No use wasting the lunch. <laughs> What's a gold V for victory? Oh, da 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 di da 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 di do do. I did I di da 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 Oh, hello. I'm a wagged, wagged, wubber of the wild and woolly west. Of all the things I haven't got, I white gold the best. Oh, it rained all night, the day I wept. The weather is so dry. It was so warm, I froze to death. Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna. And don't, don't you cry, cry for me. me. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get me watch of gold before victory. A good evening, friends. Something off we squee going on around here. Uh, what's up, Doc? Well, one of the strangest things. I. <sighs> A 
that schooly wabbit. Oh well. Plenty of you men wear one of these. That's the West Swore. I'll get that wabbit. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc, where are you?
should be great. I really don't know how the people can wait. <laughs> mm. I have to decide who the actors will be. I think I'll make the heroine me. <laughs> mm. The hero Aladdin is handsome and smart. Why, Popeye the sailor is great for the part. <laughs> Secret iron hide. Then I shall be the ruler, and you shall be my bride. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Where was I? Where was I? A rub on this lamp will bring riches and fame. This lamp is well guarded by torrents and flame. But one dare secure it, Aladdin's his name. He liveth on the corner of Chow and Main. Aladdin shall help me this lamp to obtain. Then Aladdin shall never be seen again. <laughs> Aladdin, the princess has chosen you to procure for her the magic lamp. Well, she made a good choice, man. Just to start with the viewers. <laughs> Why, only you alone are with you. Such a precarious mission. Yes, yes, yes. So you're out of breeze. Maybe you better lay down for a couple of years. Huh? Beneath that rock is a dangerous passageway. It's a zoo. Beyond which you will find a golden lamp. Well, bring that lamp back to me. Well, bring that lamp back to you, huh? Anything for the princess. I go for the princess. Yes, she is a legend. Go on, go on. Yes, I go. I go. <laughs> Lamp. 
be made out of sapphires, I guess, huh? Oh boy, I make good, I make good. <laughs> ah, this suspense is terrible. I wish the lamp would hurry with that lamp. Oh, my... Hey, mister, mister, I got the lamp. Ah, oh, the fences. The, the lamp. For the princess. Yeah, that's right. For the princess, I got it right. For the princess. Oh, oh. The princess. Ha ha ha! That was only a trick, my fool. Only you and I know of this magic lamp, and soon you will forget. <laughs> wow! 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 It's mine. I have it. It's mine. Oh! Oh, my lamp! The lamp! The lamp! The lamp! I want the lamp! Oh! 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 Whoa! Hey, what happened? Where am I and how do I get out of this place? That's what I want to know. This place looks kind of spooky to me. Oh! oh. oh Close me up, eh? Oh, I wish I was light-headed so I could see where I'm going, you know? Oh, here's my last match. I hope I strike it lucky, that's all. Oh! I am the slave of the lamp. I come from the nowhere, I go to the no place, and here I am. You make a wish, and I give up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You want something? Did you say a wish? A wish, a wish. I can have a wish, huh? Oh, well, I wish I was out of here. Can you show me the entrance to the exit? Oh, certainly. Well, let's get out of here. You better. Hey, take it easy. Put your shop, put your push it on. I know what you'll do. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, an escalator. Swimming in ladies' bargain basement on the top floor. Main entrance all out. <laughs> boy, I'm glad to get out of that hole, all right. <laughs> now if I can only find the bed. If you don't see what you want, rub for it. Hmm, that's a very good idea, I think. I'll take a try. Oh, hey, you. Oh, for goodness sake. You want something? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, what's all this magical stuff about? Well, I told you, I could fulfill up any wish or desire. Something funny about this phony. I've got to test him out. I think I'll give him a tough one. Okay. I wish I was a wealthy prince. <laughs> you zeroed. Hey, what's going on back there? Oh, boy. <laughs> I do for you. I do most anything you ask me to. I go and get that pot of gold from the rainbow and bring it where you are. And then I'd hitch your wagon to a star. What can I do for you? Say, how'd you like to have your dreams come true? I'd like to make you happy through and through. Indeed, I do. So what? I do for you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Get a dog biscuit. <laughs> it's Aladdin. He's alive. He has the magic lamp. But he shan't have it long. 
Sticker, she has to have a little cut up or something, huh? Curses! Fair one, will thou, uh, uh, that is, will steal? Yes, yes! I am embarrassed. I don't know what to say. I've never made love in technicolor before. I don't know. Princess, what's that please thee? Or, uh, what's that please thou? Uh, huh? What are you, a thee or a thou? Fairest one, I was about to say is that... Yes, I'll marry you! Oh, 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 oh. You will! Oh, she's gonna marry me. Oh, it's wonderful. I think she's making a big mistake, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. I go to bring me friends to the wedding, but I shall return. <laughs> oh, don't forget to come back. Heidi Ho Silva. Away. Oh! 
you came back, that's me. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, no one here. Now's my chance. The princess shall soon be mine. <laughs> oh. You want something? Go. I command you, carry this castle off to a far and distant land. You're crazy. I'm crazy, huh? Well, you'll do as I say. I'll put you with an image to be a fly. I did it, and I wouldn't. Then go.
faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel, Superman. Empowered with X-ray vision, possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. doing here? Oh, just getting the woman's angle on this story. The mechanical monster! Look out! Phone this in. Yes, I'll give you the details later, Chief. All right, Lois. Let Lois! Job for Superman.
play this is going to make. The jewels. What have you done with the jewels? You'll read about it in tomorrow's paper. Are you going to tell me what happened to those jewels? <laughs> She's doomed. That's a wonderful story, Lois. Thanks, Clark, but I owe it all to Superman. And a hound dog, howdy to you. Folks, I want you all to meet the stars of the show. We're going to assist me in a See feet of juggling, namely Pixie and Dexy and Mr. Jenks. Alley oop! Alley oop! And over there is Yogi Bear. Alley oop! Indian Club coming up. <laughs> One missing, Doc Hawk. This is Hawk.
the Huckleberry Hound Punch and Judy Show. First, Yogi Bear. Hey, hey, I'm a punchy Judy Bear. More punchy than Judy, I would say. Next, Pixie and Dixie. Bear Sugar and Spice. Hi, all. And everything mice. Here comes Jinx. Uh, what this show needs uh, is a sock finish. That's for me. Hooray! Hey, no fair two against one. I hate Mrs. to pieces. And next, psst, and next on the program, psst, psst, and what's on your mind? I just want to say next on the program is a Huckleberry Hound cartoon show. That's what I was going to say. Bullseye, folks, and win a prize. Ready, Pixie? Bullseye, you win a genuine Mr. Jinx doll. Who wants a Mr. Jinx doll? Uh, you better have the real thing, fellas. It's Jinx! Scram! <laughs> Hi, Dixie. I hear you invented a new dance step. That's right, Huck. Dixie is going to teach it to Mr. Jinx. Watch. Uh, just out of curiosity, pal, uh, what's the name of your new dance? We call it the Judo Cha-Cha. <laughs> you say we're going to meet a stranger, Huck? Yep, a tall, dark stranger with whiskers. Uh... I like these? Yuck, 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 yuck. It's Jinx! Uh, they're gonna see a lot of this stranger in the next cartoon. Halt, you missus! Heading for the moon, Jinx? Uh, not me, Huck. The missus are going. Hi, Jinx. Uh, I'll be right with you, Pixie and Dixie. I put him in the rocket and, like, uh, just pushed his button. James was going any place. Neither did he. <laughs> What's up, James? Starting your house cleaning early? Uh, I, I would not say house cleaning, Huck. Hey, it's James. More like a uh, mouse cleaning. <laughs> I'm down off that roof, Jinxie. Uh, relax, Huck. Uh, watch me swoop down on them missus. Jinx thinks he's a bat, Dixie. I think he's just plain batty, Pixie. No use running. I got you guys. I hate missus to pieces. This is, uh, like living. You who Ahoy, pussycat. Ahoy? <laughs> I like scuttle them missus. <laughs> hey! I hate... Yeah, we know Mises to Peaches. What's going on, Jinxie? Uh, I'm going to, like, uh, strike out them two Mises, Pixie and Dixie. Don't worry, Pixie. I stuck glue in Jinx's bowling ball. Here, fellas, uh, have a ball! Let's face it, I hate Mises to pieces. What you doing, Pexy and Dexy? We're just playing football, huh? But the game is like over for you, Mises. It's Jinx! Kick off, Pexy! What, yikes! Are you okay, Jinxy? It only hurts when I swallow. What's up, Jinxie? Uh, well, Huck, uh, there's more than one way to catch me, you know. Look, Pixie, cheese. Let's put it away for later. I got a strike, like. I hate to say it, but uh, you should have seen the ones that got away. Piggity dog, called me a whopper this time. Well, now, somebody's swimming trunks. If you'll kindly return my trunks, I'll barrel out of here and go see my cartoon. And there's a barrel of laughs in the Yogi Bear cartoon. Hi, Jinx. What's up? Uh, I was about to, like, uh, demonstrate my mies proof refrigerator. Open her up, Pixie and Dixie. You're the inventor, so you just have the honor. Well, like this, you insist. One day I shall, like, blow up at them Mises. There's all the 
little queen on the animated screen. Wait till you get a view of sweet Betty. Made of pen and ink, she can win you with a wink. Wait till you get a view of sweet Betty. Those eyes, that pretty nose. And oh, aside from this, she's got so much of those. If you want to see just a perfect little she, wait till you get a view of sweet Betty. Introducing Miss Jenny in her death-defying high dive into a bowl of soup. Give the little girl a big hand. Dropped your handkerchief. Thanks. I'll have them peanuts. Oh, I have no peanuts. on the high wire. Oh, 
Then get on your long white robe and your sorry crown. Be ready when the great day comes. Good Lord, I'm ready. Indeed, I'm ready. Oh, good Lord, I'll be ready when the great day comes. To glory, hallelujah. Ready. Indeed, I'm ready. Oh, good Lord, I'll be ready when the great day comes. <laughs>
What is your name? Gail Tempest. What is your occupation? I'm a dancer. On the night of February the 13th, were you working at the Black Bottom Cafe when this murder was committed? Yes, but I didn't do it. Then who killed Kirk Robin? I don't know. Didn't you kill Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor, and ask that the last question be stricken from the records. It is merely an attempt to influence this intelligent, broad-minded, and most intellectual jury. Objection sustained. Thank you, Your Honor. That is all. Quiet, Polly. If it please the court, Your Honor, at this time, I would like to introduce my three main witnesses, Howard, Fine, and Howard. <clears throat> they were here a minute ago. Will you pardon me, Your Honor? I'll be right back. Hey, what's the idea of spoiling the game? I was for onesies. Well, here's twosies. Oh, oh, he was for onesies? You get him to... Uh, here's oh. fivesies. Oh. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Don't you realize Miss Gail Tempest's life is at stake? Oh, Gail! Uh, 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 <laughs> Gentlemen, please try to be a little more quiet in the court. Certainly, Judgey, the gate is locked. Will you please step forward? No, no, no. Prepare yourself for the witness box. Take off your hat. Now raise your right hand. Now place your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Please take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Hmm. Now put your left hand here. Will you please take off your hat? Raise your right hand. Hmm. Now put your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Will you get rid of that hat? Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Huh? Do you solemnly swear to tell truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Are you trying to give me the double talk? Do you solemnly swear to tell truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Why don't you answer him? He's talking big right and I don't know what he's saying. He's asking you if you swear. No, but I know all the words. He's asking you if you'll swear to tell the truth. Truth is stranger than fiction, Judgey Wudgey. <laughs> Kindly address this court as your honor and take the oath. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Certainly. What have I got to lose? Take the stand. Where did I put it? No, no. Take the stand. I got it. Now what will I do with it? Sit down! Poor room. Sit down. I'm a victim of circumstance. Uh, who are you hitting? Oh, you're gone. Oh, oh. Be quiet. Oh. Proceed with the case. Were you in the Black Bottom Cafe on the night of February the 13th? Certainly. Did you at that time see the defendant, Miss Gail Tempest, in any way, shape, or form, commit or try to commit bodily harm to the deceased Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor. Counsel's trying to lead the witness. 
Objection sustained. Mr. Howard, did you see Miss Gale Tempest in physical fight with Kirk Robin? If it pleases the court, may I suggest that counsel be instructed to allow the witness to testify to what he saw. I say, Jasper, uh, what comes after 75? 76. That's the spirit. <laughs> Request granted. Proceed with the testimony. Mr. Howard, kindly tell the court what you know about the murder of Kirk Robin. Well, it was like this, Mr. Court. Address the judge as your honor. Well, it was like this, my honor. Your honor, not my honor. Why? Don't you like him? Allow the witness to proceed. The court understands him. Thanks, Cordy. You're a pal. Well, me and my pals, we're musicians. We were tearing up some hot swing music in the orchestra. Gail over there was swinging her fans. Her sweetie, Kirk Robin, was inhaling a bottle of hooch at a table. And a hoofer by the name of Buck Wing was getting ready to shake his tootsies. Kindly speak English and drop the vernacular. Vernacular? That's a doiby. Drop the vernacular. No, no, not that. Talk so the jury can understand. Is everybody dumb? Say, Judgey, if you let me, my partner, and Gailey kind of act it out for you, we'll show you just what happened. If counsel doesn't object, that's an excellent idea. No objections. No objections. No objections. <laughs> okay, Gailey. Superstitious, eh? Oh, vice I kid. Gentlemen, you must control your killing instincts. Proceed with the testimony, please. Proceed. That was sure hot, Mo. Submit the rest of the entertainment and continue. Now, Gailey's dance was over. I stuck my head in the office door and I saw Craig Robin and Buck Wing arguing over by the parrot cage. What were they arguing about? I don't know, but Buck Wing was sizzling like a hot hamburger. He grabs Craig by the neck like that, <laughs> see, and drags him over to the letter press. <laughs> see? <laughs> then he smacks him on the head like that. <laughs> then he pokes his coconut into the letter press, see, like that. 
Then he says, I'll squeeze the cider out of your Adam's apple. Then he gives him the works like this. And he keeps turning and twisting. That, ladies and gentlemen, is... What's the matter? You want to kill me? Why is preposterous? When the police broke into the office, they found this woman, the defendant, Gail Tinkus, bending over the body of the murdered man with a revolver clutching in her hand. Which only goes to prove that my client is innocent. Innocent? Exactly, and I'll prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, the action of this pistol is so hard, it would take the strength of a mule to pull the trigger. Try it. I'm no mule. No, your ears are too short. <laughs> so I'm a mule. Pull the trigger. Never fear, it's not loaded. <laughs> How could Gail Tempest's frail little finger pull the rusty trigger of that instrument of destruction? See, there was nothing in it. Broad Lane, 9972, after 5 o'clock. No! It's stuck in me! What's the oh. Oh. What'd you do with my boat in the air? What do you mean? Hang on. What happened? Don't point that gun at me! What? Every night for himself, fellas. Ah, there you are, boss. You was called to be a witness, wasn't you? Certainly. So was you. What are you button in for? Uh -huh. You're supposed to be a good one, ain't you? Well, ain't I? Now, what are you disturbing the court for? <laughs> Get on. Stop chewing that gum. Certainly. Will you throw that gum away? Look, I got rid of it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold still. I'll get it. Woods, Tarzan. Cut it out. Come on. Order in this court. What does this parrot mean by find the letter? There's a whole pile of letters there. Must be here. Look, there's a note tied to the parrot's foot. Come on, Polly, 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 Polly. Come on, Polly, Polly, Polly. Come on, Polly, Polly, Polly. Come on. Ouch! Look out, here it comes. Check that parrot. Get him, get him. Get him. Get him. No way to get a parrot. You gotta wet his feather so he can't fly. Oh, don't do nothing till you hear from me. Come on. Give me a hand. Wait a minute. Hold it. What do you mean? I object, Your Honor. These proceedings, this courtroom. Ooh. What's the idea?
Better be safe than sorry, I always say. Oh, no! Gee, he had plenty of warning. Yeah, signs all over the place. Sometimes you're not so lucky. I mean, no warning signs. Vitamin shortages like that, Wilma tells me. No clear-cut warning. So we start every day with one-a-day vitamins to prevent vitamin shortage. Hey, uh, does a one-a-day tablet give you all the vitamins a person normally needs to take, Fred? That's right, Barney boy. They help you feel your best and do your best. Like me. Hmm. Nice-looking bottle, too. One-a-day brand multiple vitamins to prevent vitamin shortage. So get your own one-a-day. Uh, get the label with the big red one. Say, how would a little Welch's snack go right about now? Say, a sandwich made with Welch's grape jelly. You just spread your bread with Welch's and, mmm, delicious? Yes, sir. Do you know why Deep Purple Welch's grape jelly tastes so much better than other kinds? Well, look, when jelly is made by an ordinary process, much of the flavor can be cooked away and lost. See? Yeah. But Welch's uses a special recovery process to trap the flavor and return it to the jelly. See that? You bet I do. No wonder Welch's grape jelly has that deep purple color that means more fragrance and flavor than other kinds. Be sure you always buy Welch's grape jelly. Because Welch's grape jelly is the... Mmm. Mmm. And now Welch's grape jelly 10-ounce size tumblers come decorated with a series of Flintstones designs. Start a collection today. The Flintstones, brought to you by the bakers of kitchen-rich cookies. They're kitchen-rich good. Baked as you would. to plug you, Mr. Duck, but I'm a sportsman. A great, great sportsman. <laughs> a great sportsman, eh? <laughs> sportsman. Listen, sport, you don't know the meaning of fair play. What chance has a poor, helpless, fluffy, little winged creature like me against you? You with your bullets, and your shotgun, and your knife, and your duck call, and your hunting coat, and your hunting dog, and all kind of stuff like that there. What protection have I got? A bulletproof vest, I suppose. <laughs> How does that get there? How would you like to meet me in a fair fight, Mr. Sport? All things being equal, man to man, Marquise of Queensbury rules. Huh? Huh. That's different, eh? Yeah, that's something else again. Yeah, 
get a right side, do you, sportsman? No! You don't like it? <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> you can have him. <laughs> what a tramp. <laughs> Elmer Fudd. Hello. Hooray! And in this corner, a duck who needs no introduction, that outstanding exponent of clean sportsmanship, the champion of champions, your friend and mine, our own, our beloved Daffy, good to his mother, Duck. Now, boys, fight clean. Oh, brother! No rough stuff. None of this. Or this. Or this. Or like so. Or this. Or this. Or this. You understand? Yeah, you mean uh, none of this? Or this? Or like so? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? How about a little of this? Absolutely, uh-uh. You know, there's something awfully screwy about this fight. Or my name isn't Larimore. And it isn't. You got him punchy, champ. He's practically a dead duck already. Now get in there, sight. Go on in there and knock him out. Give it to him, champ. Let him have it, champ. Hmm, getting a little sin on top. How about a little something to stimulate the scalp? <laughs> Shake hands. Which hand do you take? Mm, uh, that one. Nope. Wrong. Guess again. All right, all right. I'll take that over there. <laughs> Ain't he a dope? You sure this is the one you want? <laughs> You're right. The right one. And here's round one coming up. One, three, nine, ten, you're out. The winner and new champion, Daffy Duck. I'm not the one to complain, Mr. Weffley, but I thought you said no woof stuff. None of this, or this, or this, or like so. Oh. Or this, or this, or this! That's all, folks!
Falls today, cause I'm a hassle is on his way. Go in hiding, when I go riding, there's me and my forty thieves. Your wives and children and money too, I steal them from you before I'm through. I'm out gunning, so start in running, from me and my forty thieves. Have a hassle. My gang's the roughest, but I'm the toughest, and that's no lie. Abu Hassan. Abu Hassan. You've got to hand it to this bad band, cause I'm a terrible guy. Abu Right, tag him with that arm, Zep. Mr. Person. As you were, attention, right up. Oh, if you are just too. Attention, everybody. Alarm. Abu Hassan, the bandit, loots car and escapes. Last seen headed that away. Oh, oh which away? That away. Ah. Uh. Whoa! All the arms. All hands on deck. Clear the deck for me. Hey, this ain't nothing for women. We're out hunting bandits. Sealant zero. Physica Pelagi. Lero. Maybe we better try it across the street, huh? Skip the gutter. Maybe I should trade this in. Something is definitely wrong. I'm right, it's wrong. boardwalk on this beach, huh? If I had some bread, I'd make a sandwich if I had a witch. Huh? Food! Oh. A bit of disappointment. Oh, Wimpy. Uh, would you care to join us, young fellow, huh? You know, that's just one of those invisible garages that you can't see on the desert. That's all it is. Rest. Oh. Uh, come on, we got the green light with us now. You know, I could go for a nice cold chocolate soda right now. <laughs> Popeye, olive oil has collapsed completely. Whoa. Uh, keep your vitality up, Olive. Huh? That's it. <laughs> come on, Olive. We gotta save little women and children from bandits. I'll get you out of this desert some way. I tank, we go now. Water. Oh, boy. Come on, I'll revise you. Oh, oh, oh. Here we are. Here, I'll squelch your thirst for you. This is on the house. Oh. Is that good? Oh. oh. I'll ask in here for bandits. But Foyce will go get a cup of coffee over here. Oh, uh, come on in. Goody, you're my star. Aren't we all, huh? Boy, this place is wide open. Oh. Well, I wonder where everybody is yes, around here. Maybe it's close to the window. Over. Zybus. Yeah, that's what we want, Zybus. Zybus. Oh, there you are, huh? Hey, what is this, double talk or something? I didn't send out any laundry. I can read reading, but I can't read write. This writing's rotten rotten, if you happen to ask me, huh? Hey, this Chinese is Greek to me. Haven't you got something to eat? Oh, that's better, huh? Bring me some desert without any sand this time, will you please? 
Attention everybody, calling all towns and villages, beware! You better lock up your doors today, cause Abu Hassan is on his way. Go in hiding when he comes riding, there's him and his sporty thieves. Your wives and children and money too, he'll steal them from you before he's through. He's out running, so start him running from him and his sporty thieves. Abu Hassan, Abu Hassan. In every village, he'll steal and pillage. There's none he'll spare. Abu Hassan, Abu Hassan. If he should spy you, then we defy you to cross his path if you dare. Things get quiet. I start a riot as I go by. Abu Hassan. <laughs> and you'll discover they run to cover, because I'm a terrible guy. Another illusion? I can't understand it. There's a big bag of wind blowing through here someplace. Take it, Shake. Shake. Hey, give me back me, Shake. What's the big idea? Stop in the name of the Coast Guard. Come on, give me me. Who are you, Al? Oh, you little tough guy. Take me home for a dollar ninety-eight, sir. Hmm. With half the price, I'll tell you that. Sir. Two Give cents, a second. Wow. Hey, your penknife, Stent. I'll straighten it out for you. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ew, I show you. Hey, you ah. hurt somebody with that thing, huh? Oh. You got revitism. Yeah, I'll fix it for you. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, uh. Why, you look, 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 see. Yeah, I'm looking up. Oh. Hey. Give me back uh, here. Well, uh, pretty good for uh, a finger, uh, huh? Watch this one. Have a... Have a... Have a... Uh, <laughs> Apple hasn't got him anymore. Oh, <laughs> you want to make fools from me, uh, huh? Nature beat me to it. I show you. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> I hang him up shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you make fools from me, huh? <laughs> Hey, what am I hanging around here for? Come on, let's go. Oh, oh. That's 
using your head? Where did those guys go to? Wait till I can get a hold of that fellow. I'll show him a thing or two. He's taking away the hook. Taxi! Taxi! Follow that abacadabra Hassan guy, will you? Come on. Get gone. They're way ahead of us. Atta, boy. Show them your heels. Wake up there. What's the matter? You sleep or something? Oh. Hey, you got four flats. No wonder you can't run. Come on there, camel cage. Step on it. Let's get going there. What's the matter? Whoop. Whoa. Whoop. I think you're running dry. That's what's the matter with you. Huh? Boy, you eat up an awful lot of gas for only a two-cylinder. That's enough for you, young fella. Here we go. Boy, we beat him to the punch that time. Come on, the whole 40 of you. Take on one at a time. Come on. Open sesame! Hmm. Open what? Hello, Hello, sesame! Wait for me, wait for me. Oh. I wonder what that word was he used when he opened this door. Open, sissy. Open, say so. Oh, that can't be it. Huh? Oh, oh, it's given way, it's given way. Oh, that was me that was given way, huh? Uh, well... Uh... It's a violation for not having no exit that you can go into, huh? Oh, it's quite modern in this tick, I'll tell you that right now, huh? I hope this isn't a one-way street, huh? Tippy-do, tippy-do, tippy-do. I gotta give all these jewels back to the people. Tippy-do, tippy-do, tippy-do. I hope I see them before they see me. Tippy-do, tippy-do, tippy-do. Uh, what's that noise, huh? Oh. Olive. Yashi. Gashi. Yashi. Gashi. Shashi. Hey, what is this? A wishing well or something? I wish I was out of this place. That's what I wish. Huh? Oh, oh, just a little flounder. That's all. Oh, a little snapper. That's all. Right. Oh, hey, you're liable to hide your teeth, huh? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Boy, somebody's gonna be sorry for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton. The Man of Steel. Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. I can't go with you, Lois, but I have another story to cover. Oh, that's all right, Clark. I'll see you in the office.
This looks like a job for Superman. Superman turns up just when you need him. I didn't even get a chance to thank him.
way to our cabaret, don't wait to be invited. Just check your room, you'll all find room, come in and get excited. Then shake your feet, sit down and eat, corned beef or macaroni. Our food's well spiced, but when it's sliced, it's just a lot of baloney. Oh, my God. 
I sure wish I could get rid of the cold. Good morning, Mr. Peacock. Good morning, Wheezy. Yeah, Casper. Nobody wants to be. Golly, we've got to figure out a way to stop your sneezing. Do you really think you can? This ought to do the trick. making you sneeze, Wheezy. Hooray! I'm never 
never going to sneeze again. I'm never going to sneeze again. I'm never going to sneeze again. I sure was lucky to meet you, Casper. Delays off a dollar. Fear not, most illustrious Hassan Ben Sovar. Fear not. Off a dollar will get the map by hook or crook, as sure as my name is Jinaroma. Quite so. Servants! Come out there! Servants! Come out there! Yes, sir! Come out! Yes, sir, we have all the servants. At your service. Boy, if I hadn't ducked, we'd have collided, sure. What a narrow escape. Oh. Oh. Hey. What? What? What's the matter with you? Take this off! Take this off! No, take it easy. We'll have you all fixed up in a minute. What's this? Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> Hold this. Just a minute, I'll take it right off. I would leave it on. People don't know if you're coming or going with this on. Hey, you are, sir. You look very pretty, and the spaghetti's as good as new. Why, you... No! Well, uh, dog or dogs, how dare you? A thousand pardons, it was unavoidable. Wait a minute, wait a minute! This would degrade you. It is true. I am an aristocrat. I am Hassan ben Suba. I had a few too many myself. <laughs> Quiet. We gotta clean up this mess. <laughs> Why? Oh, oh. Get busy. What <laughs> is to travel by night. Perhaps if Papa Dollar does not. Greetings, greetings. Just bring them back, Papa Dollar. Hey, Chief. But as I slit his throat with his dying breath, he said someone else had a duplicate map. Tis bad. We must leave at once if we are to be the first to reach King Root and Tutan's tomb. Make preparations to depart immediately. Aye, Chief. But remember the curse. He who touches the jewel first is doomed to a thousand deaths. We must secure the services of three. And when we get them to do our bidding... <coughs> yes, but we'd best have food before we travel. Aye. Service! Waiters! Service! Service! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh! Oh, what do you have? We want to... We don't have any more. All we got left is rabbit and hot dogs. Rabbit. Hot dog. Hot dog. They'll take rabbit. Okay, come on. Okay, coming right up. Coming right up. 
Here we are, Pepper and Soul. That bus boy is off. Just stand while you eat. Sit down with your hands on or off. You, you, you talk us into it. Ooh. Eat. eat. <laughs> did you hear anything? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Sit down and eat. 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 eat.
There's the dog and cat. Why don't you tell me? What? Get out. Let him alone. Oh, oh. oh. man. Oh! 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 These three, they are the ones that get the jewel for us. Right. Gentlemen, who came in? No, you. How would you boys like to make a thousand chilblainers? You've convinced us. What do we have to do? There is a diamond worth a king's ransom. Do you hear? A king's ransom. Gentlemen, this map will lead us to the treasure. Now pay strict attention. <laughs> Hassan Ben Soba, you are late. I got the diamond, you got the gate. Signed, oh my gosh, Emir of Shmo. Oh, ruined, defeated. That murderous cutthroat. He has the famous 100 carat diamond. 100 carats, he's shooting to his onions. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> this map is useless to me now. With that diamond, I could have quit my job as the doorman at the Oasis Hotel. <laughs> Hey, spin his chin. Do you mean to tell me you're only a doorman? Yes. Well, there's the doorman. <laughs> Will you give me five for this? No, but I'll give you two. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one 100 carat diamond and it comes from Root and Tootin's tomb. That's government property. Right, and if we return it, we'll get a big reward. Yeah, maybe 50,000 bucks. Boy, with that kind of money, we could rent a one-room apartment in Hollywood. Maybe. But that Emer Schmo is a cutthroat. Suppose he cuts my throat. Well, well <laughs> now don't worry. We'll be disguised. We'll find the shortest way. Now here, study this map closely. We start here at Jerkola, down the Insane River, over the Giver Dam, through Pushover, across Schmoland, to the stronghold of Schmo. Pass. Who goes there? Santa Claus! Ah, oh, there ain't no Santa Claus! Oh, yes, there is, and we got a present for you. You have? Right Where? there. Oh! Okay, boys. Come on. The coast is clear. Come on. Come on! Find the diamond. <laughs> it's the schmoe. <laughs> there he is, and he's wearing the diamond. <laughs> Now's our chance to get it. Yeah. Fun. I'm the evil spirit that guards the root and toot and diamond. Give it to me, lest evil befall you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The spirit commands you to stand on your head in that lily pond until further notice. <laughs> Somebody's coming. Oh, scram! Oh! 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 Oh!
<laughs> Your hat. Thank you. You're welcome. Why? <laughs> Well, that's that. Get up here. Hey, the schmo is flooded. Looks like you're out of a job. <laughs> Where's that The Flintstones, brought to you by Miles Products, division of Miles Laboratories, makers of... Wilma! Where's the Alka-Seltzer? Where it always is, next to the one-a-day multiple vitamins. Brought to you by Miles Products. Well, Ma, I'm home. Did you get everything, Fred? Where's the Alka-Seltzer? Right here in the blue and white box. The Flintstones has been brought to you by Miles Products. Fred, one-a-day vitamins have vitamins A, D, B1, B2, C, B6, B12. How do they do it? I don't know, but I'm glad they do. The Flintstones have been brought to you by Miles Products, division of Miles Laboratories, makers of... Well, Ma, where's my one-a-day multiple vitamins? Where they always are, Fred. You're the good one.
Yeah, yeah, better hurry. I just got uh, ten minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Faso! But I've got a, a, a very important appointment. I'll say you have. My card. Yes, sir. Daffy Duck. Personal representative of the most sensational discovery since the Sweater Girl. He's colossal. Stupendous. One might even go so far as to say he's mediocre. I give you that paragon of pep and personality, Sleepy Lagoon. gives him a four-bar vamp, and the kid gives it to him like this. I'm just wild about Harry, and Harry's wild about me. Now the heavenly blisses of his kisses fills me with ecstasy. That's just a rough idea, you understand. He's the sweetest chocolate candy, and just like honey from a bee. Oh, I'm just wild about Harry, and he's just wild about Ken. I do without he is from the south. Can't you hear me shout? Talking with my mouth, could you ever doubt? He's just wild about me. <laughs> the kid finishes mid thunderous applause. Hooray! Hey! He takes a bow. They're screaming for an encore. Encore! Give us more! We want more! Let's have more! Give us more! Ah, oh, but does the kid give him another song? No, he makes with a banjo solo, like so. Just a minute, Chubby. You ain't seen half of the kid's repertory. The kid does that you like. Woohoo! Go, chickaboo, chickaboo, woohoo! Go, chickaboo, chickaboo! When uh, the sweetie down the real thing she never she makes up the caballero with something he can't resist. When she kisses him, he just like a salad is with a dish of capastrano and a bunch of fighters' fists. When she loves him, he can do not love. I say, yes, I want to have Tamale who can love him. Goodbye, golly, in September and November. Not to mention cold December in the springtime in the summer or when autumn leaves are falling. She will love him. Abum, sick abum, sick abum, sick abum. La la, la 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 la. Woo! Even though you're already made me living, laugh, Clara, laugh. <laughs> 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 I'm a cowboy, yes sir I am. Yes sir I am a cowboy, yes sir I am. I'm a cowboy, yes sir I am. Yes sir I am a cowboy. <laughs> Or the land and the sea are ready to fly, and where the duty calls, ready to fight to be free. You're just an angel in disguise, who uh, wandered out from up above. <laughs> Over hill and over dale, we're always on the dusty trail. Hunting fox and hunting quail, tally ho! I am a hunting fool, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. My horse and I are of the finest breed, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Just like the wind, I ride my sword steed. Sure of foot, sure of vibe, feeling onions make me cry. This makes no sense, so do I. So don't you go and beat me, Daddy, to the nearest bar. Yeah! And now the kid goes into a finale, and what a finale! Stop it! Stop it! 
All right. Uh, uh, let's see what the kid can do. Okay, Sleepy. Do your stuff. <laughs> Let springtime blossoms bloom again in the garden.
than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Penetrating deep into the frozen wastes of the great Arctic plains, an archaeological expedition searching for prehistoric fossils makes an amazing discovery. A huge monster, as lifelike in appearance as when it roamed the Earth millions of years ago in the Mesozoic Age, is found frozen in the ice in a state of perfect preservation. Constantly handicapped by the hazardous sub-zero elements, the scientists and their band of tireless workers succeed in removing the mammoth creature from the frozen pit. The ice-encased monster is loaded into the hold of a huge freighter equipped with a special refrigeration plant and brought to this country. Here, in a specially constructed wing of the Museum of Natural Science, this awe-inspiring creature is displayed to the public for the first time. And you mean to say that if the ice were permitted to thaw, there's a possibility the monster might still be alive? Thank you, Professor. Yes, Chief. Lois, there's a new angle on that frozen monster story. Get over to the museum and see what's doing. They've got him in a special refrigerator. Okay, Chief. Oh, Lois, want me to go over there with you? No, thanks. You'd probably faint if you saw the monster. You scare so easily. Maybe she's right, but Superman hasn't fainted yet. And 
produces the necessary refrigeration. The control board is downstairs. I'll show it. The entire plant is operated from this board. The thermometer must be watched constantly, as any rise in temperature might prove dangerous. Boy, what a story! Outside, everybody. Step lively, please. Use the nearest exit. Please, folks, keep moving. We have to clear this room at once. That's what he thinks. Police headquarters. Hello, Chief. Send the riot squad. We're in trouble. Give me the city desk. Hurry! Proceed to fifth and main at once. Chief, Lois is in the museum. Better get over there, Kent. Right. This looks like a job for Superman. Superman. You'd better get back to your office where you'll be safe. I've got some work to do. Yes, sir. And this the best story in years? Small chance. Oh, 
plenty of courage getting that monster story, Lois. Thanks, but where were you? Me? Oh, I must have fainted. Thank <laughs> you. 
spot I ever tackled. Oh, beat me. Shem, give me a hand, will you? I can't now. I gotta finish my pants. Hey, fellas. Listen to this letter. Gentlemen. That ain't for us. We're not gentlemen. Speak for yourself. Oh! Gentlemen. This is to inform you that unless overdue payments for tailoring equipment are made within 24 hours, we will repossess said equipment. Balance now due $321.86. Skin and Flint Finance Corporation. I, Fleesom, President. That put us out of business. What will we do? You guys worry about that. I'm too young to worry and get wrinkles on my pretty little face. What we need is a little music to cheer us up. News flashes. Police are frantically scouring the town in search of Terry Slippery Fingered Harden. Hargan has robbed his 18th consecutive safe in nine days. A large reward is offered for his capture. Does your car have indigestion? Does it burp in the morning? 
Try no burpaline, the only gasoline containing bicarbonate of soda. Hey, Mo, why don't we capture Hagen and collect the reward, then we can pay our bills? Oh, it's as simple as all that. Hagen is going to walk right in here and let you capture him. You're nuts. We're going to be paupers. Paupers. Are you kidding? We're not even married. Uh, oh. Why don't you be quiet? Oh, think. Well, anyway, I got the spot out. Oh, boy. Am I a sap? I can't think when I'm hungry. Oh, a funny man. Yeah, what's the matter with you? What did I do? Who wants lunch? I do. Take me some too, will you? Okay, coming up. All right, all right, but where are they? I pinned them up in the shade. What'd you do with them? I didn't touch them. Uh-uh. Here, hurry up and press those. What are you standing around for? Gee, thanks. Hey, you're welcome. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. What's the idea? I'm sorry you stepped into me. You bet. This is the store where your dollars have more sense. Say, we've got the very sport coat you're looking for. I don't want a coat. But listen, mister, we're going to give you a bargain. Where did you ever get this mess? 
I bought it here. Oh, what a beautiful masterpiece. <laughs> here. Yeah. Isn't it a beauty? Genuine import. Smell the ocean. And it's 200% wool. 200%? Yeah, these sheep led a double life. Yes, sir. And now just Come on, right in there. Yeah. I don't... Hey, you, right will you... Hey, uh, hey, uh, I don't want a coat. I don't want a coat. I don't want a coat. Oh, he, he don't, don't want, want a coat. coat. What he wants is a pair of our slick slacks. Why don't you tell me the man wants slacks? Get him slacks. Go ahead. I don't want any slacks. All right, look. Now look, bud. In this store, the customer's always right. Here you are, brother. Slick slacks. Try them off a size. Oh, yes. Try them right on. We... Oh. <laughs> Gee, officer, we... Yeah. Quiet! You birds realize you just let Terry Hargan, the bank robber, slip right through my hands? I ought to run you in. Please, officer, I got six wives and two kids. Honest, yeah. officer, there was nobody came in here. Well, he's in the neighborhood. Keep a sharp lookout. I'll be back. Right. Right. Oh, well, Marty. Hello, Sugar Plum. How are you? Just dandy. Oh. <laughs> Listen carefully. My clothes are in the Pip Boys tailor shop around the corner. Now, in the watch pocket of the trousers, there's a piece of paper with a combination to a safe. I want to do that job tonight, and I need that paper. Okay, sugar. Just leave it to me. Hey, fellas. What is Look it? what I found in the pocket of these pants. L R L R L R L. One, one, two. Hey. L one, R one. Left one, right one. This is the combination to a safe. T H. I wonder what that means. Teddy Hoosvelt? You're wrong, quiz kid. T H, T H. I got it, I got it. What? Thomas Hedison. Why don't you dumbbell stop? Terry Hargan. Terry Hargan, he was here. The bank robber was here. You're crazy. Those clothes came off one of the dummies. Now, no cracks. Ah! Oh. Oh. Hiya, fellas. Is my coat altered? Just finished. Oh, fine. Try it on. Good. Uh, uh. Wait a minute. Here, brush them off. Sleeves 31 inches. How's That's that? Right, 31. Yeah. Who made that hat? My mother. I thought so. There we are. You're all set. Right. Well, see you on payday. Right. What kind of brushing are you doing around here? He had a loose base. Yes, ma'am. Oh, do die. Oh, that's his natural expression. What can we do for you? I'd like to have this dress dyed. What color? Henna color. You mean henna color at all? No. H-E-N-N-A. Henna. It's kind of a brown reddish. I never ate a brown reddish. I'm uh, also interested in a sport coat and a pair of slacks for my brother. There's exactly what I want. Oh, yes, you have it. Hegel Gabardine. How much would that be? 42, 39. You better add that up. What's the total? $411, but there's a sale today. You get 10% off. That makes it 42.50. Mm, I'll take them. Oh, just a moment. I'll be right back. Color. You mean brown radish? Oh, yellow, turnip, blue, cucumbers, oh, anything. Oh, go ahead. There we are. You said uh, 4250? Yeah. 100, 200, 300, 450. There you are. Keep the change. Thanks. 
Aren't we the saps? We had a fortune in our hand and let it slide through. I'm going to search all the clothes. Me too. 400, 100. Hey, look, I found another 50. Yeah, uh, so you did. Why? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, leave me alone. Oh, oh. Hiya, fellas. <clears throat> My wife is just crazy about the way you fix this coat. Uh, she wants you to make me a pair of pants to match. Hi. You got them. There you are, sugar plum. Oh, I knew you'd come through, baby. Uh, this is it. Receive payment in full. Pip boys, cleaners. Why the dirty... They even took my bankroll, the dirty crooks. Come on, boys, we're going calling. Green suit, dry clean. Dry clean, right. Gold bike, repair the pockets. Gold bike, repair the pockets. Mm -hmm. Gint. Yes, what can we do for you, sir? We'd like to have our suits cleaned and pressed while we wait. Why, certainly, yes, sir. That's what we'll do. <laughs> All right, bub. Where's that piece of paper was in my pants pocket? You mean the one with the numbers on it? That's it, that's it. And the letters L R L R L R L? Yes, yes, where is it? I never saw it. Oh, a wise guy. Okay, fellas, make them talk. Oh, no. Get him. Now, take it easy. Where's that guy was here? He went that away. Oh, I'll get him, I'll... Uh Hey, cut it out, will you? Cut it out! I'm ticklish! All right, come across with that paper. Oh, the paper? Yes, the paper. Why didn't you say so? There it is. Paper. I haven't got it. Oh, still won't talk. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Honest, I did. Still won't talk. Honest. I... Oh, 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 oh. 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 oh, is that a steaming? We can pay skin and flint. Oh, a couple of more. Hold him while I phone for the wagon. Wait a minute. When do we get our reward? The reward? <laughs> oh, I get the reward. Uh, but here's some tickets to the policeman's ball. Tickets to the policeman's ball? <laughs> oh, green stuff. Oh, it's Nick. I'll take him. Thanks again, boys. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Hurry up, count it quick. Oh, right, we got wait a minute. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, uh, 50. Oh, how did that get in here? <laughs> Thank you.